I am the, emb the embodiment of successful change. And what do I mean by that? Um, I am the current state of a still ongoing change management effort that started with my mom, who is here today, 60 years ago. And uh, I talk a lot about the long game, and uh, 60 years and counting is the long game. Right? So let me read from the final chapter of the book to give you uh, some indication of who I am, and I'll just start reading. So let me tell you a bit more about myself and why I'm uniquely qualified to tell you how stupid the concept of overnight success is when it comes to successful change. I'm a Canadian immigrant. I was born in England. My parents immigrated to England. They were born in Guyana, South America. My dad lost both of his parents before he was 10, and my mom, one of nine children, lost her dad at eight years old. They both lived through very difficult times from a very young age. My mom, 60 years ago, got on a boat by herself at 17 to attend a nursing program open to citizens of the Commonwealth countries. My dad stayed back in Guyana and worked to help support my mom through school. He eventually joined my mom in London where they married and had three kids. My mom worked hard as a nurse and my dad as an industrial printing press technician, but they recognized that England was already overpopulated and it would be an increasingly hard place for their kids to succeed. They moved continents again to invest in our future. Mom had to give up her nursing career in the move as Canada did not accept her UK nursing credentials at that time. 17 years after landing in Canada as a six and a half year old who talked funny, I read an article in the Toronto Star newspaper about an exponentially growing industry, technology, and I wanted in. I had been around computers from a very young age, so I was naturally curious and became completely focused on figuring out how to get into tech. I had banking and retail furniture sales experience, so I applied for tech sales positions everywhere, even though I had no experience or academic backing to do so. I didn't get many responses and even fewer interviews, but I did not give up. I kept applying everywhere and failing until seed level, Centrifax, opened a straight commission door and I enthusiastically walked through it. My current employer at the time, a high-end furniture store, offered me a substantial increase in base compensation to stay, but I knew in my gut that tech was where I needed to be. So not for the last time in my, in my life, I declined security for opportunity. Thank you, Ted Chislett and Giorgio Wabundi, two former Rogers executives, for the Centrifax opportunity. I've come a long way and it all started with you. Three continents and 27 years of constant curiosity and learning while progressively climbing the ladder in tech resulted in my family history going from struggling in South America to the C-suite in North America in one generation. That is what you call playing the long game, working hard and succeeding at sustainable change. Overnight success is fiction. I've established a reputation for results when they're needed. It is through my many years of trench warfare that I'm able to share my method, which is based on professional and life experience. I've recognized in recent years that what I find most rewarding is helping people achieve meaningful things. on both a micro and a macro level. Depending on someone's stage of experience and maturity, the thing they are trying to achieve may be small to, to me, but it's massive to them. Supporting their success and witnessing their pride in succeeding is the best feeling in the world. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all humans. It doesn't matter if you're a CEO, uh, President of the United States, Prime Minister of Canada, or you're a frontline worker, we're all people and without uh, people on the front lines feeling important and valued, you don't succeed. 